Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today is April. Um, well, it's been April for a couple days, and as you guys know, every single month, I post a video about what I want to see in the next Boom Beach update, concepts, I show you some concept art, you guys kind of get the feel of where I want the game to go. Um, if you haven't watched the last one, by the way, the last one was March. I'll put an in, I'll put a card on the screen now. It was a very good video. I seriously want that to be added to the game. So it just click on that. That would be amazing, guys. But I'm just pushing away stuff that a lot of people want and a lot of little stuff to just get to a big, the big thing to change the game. Um, and well, first we're just gonna go over the little stuff and then we'll get to the big thing. I'm gonna leave out stuff like Task Force versus Task Force because everyone wants that. They have different concepts. I'm not gonna provide my concepts. And as always, guys, you don't have to watch this video. So if you don't like these videos, you don't have to watch it. Anyway, let's get started. So for the little stuff, um, I'm gonna try to leave out stuff I said before in the last one. Um, just because I feel like it should be a tiny bit different. But there's a, a couple of stuff I would love to see in the game. A big change needs to be added to resource bases because as of now, resource bases are kind of useless. I really like Reversal's idea on like a King of the Hill thing where it would just, it, I, they just need to change it guys. Next we can see more statues. I made a video, I made the January one, the January concept update art. Um, that was about statues and there was a talk of infused statues. This idea would be really cool, where like a statue could be half uh, health, half damage, or something like that, or half troop health, half building health, or something like that, and it would be like pretty weak, like a guardian or a masterpiece would be like 12% building health, 12% troop health, or something like that, and yeah, that would be pretty cool. You could infuse statues. This would make endless possibilities, and it would really change the game. But anyway, guys, now let's get on to the big thing I would like to see in this update. As you guys know, Riflemen and Zookas are very overpowered. Even though my base design is able to defend off that rush, when you start getting higher in victory points, that's pretty much all everyone uses. Like, if you look at the top players, that's what they're going to be using. And um, it's between that and Smoky Heavy Zooka or smoky hookah or just smoky all zooka um so yeah we need something that could nerf this rifleman zooka so i thought of a wonderful idea you'd have one of them i don't know when you when you would unlock it i don't know how much it would cost but it would be it would be pretty late game because rifleman zooka isn't really an issue till the later game um Anyway, like at my level, at my metal count right now, it's not that even, it, you don't see it a lot. So it's like, I don't even need to unlock it yet, but it'd be like an HQ-22 building that you unlock or an HQ-21. So basically you'd have one of them, I believe one would be good enough. And it's basically just like the shock launcher. It fires at troops and it once it hits a troop, it will like burst just like the shock launcher it will instead but instead of shocking it sets this little like poison slash fire spell and it's like it's it's pretty much just like the poison spell in clash of clans but it fires from a building and it's fire um so it hits your troops and it just burns up it just wrecks all the troops in that area now it wouldn't be as big of a radius or a diameter of as the shock launcher it'd be a lot smaller maybe like just a tiny little like circle like a two by two circle um but yeah that would that would change the game guys like it would it might it could like fire a little slower and it wouldn't last that long it would only like it would hit the ground it would burn up and it pretty much just leave the lasting effects on it wouldn't like stick fire and burn up everything in that little area it would just like hit and then it would just set them on fire kind of like what the flame thrower does and the scorcher they do as soon as they leave a building or a troop so basically it would just hit your troops and it would start burning them up and then it would leave and their lasting effect of fire would burn them up and it would kill like all zookas it would kill all riflemen and but the heavy zooka it won't be too bothered by this because heavies have a lot of hp so then you need something to combat heavies. So I think they should be like a never defense building. This is like a dual defense building episode. I think they should be a never defense building. It's like three boom cannons in one. It has a little smaller range than the other one, but it basically targets three defenses at the same time. So it or three 
targets of troops at the same time and it would just it would have a little slower firing rate but it'd pretty much be just like the boom cannon it would be it would it would one shot all heavies and this would combat heavy uh heavy hookah and it would also combat tanks and i think that would be about it that it would actually help against and stuff like all scorchers or yeah stuff like all scorchers it would only target one scorcher that's in its radius it and only one like cannon would go towards it so it's basically like for single shot targets it would be just like one little fire so if one troop was in its range only one bullet would hit it but if two troops were in its range two bullets would hit those both troops so there can't be two bullets or three bullets hitting the same troop in the radius it always has to be a different one. So if there's only one troop in the radius, only one bullet would go to it. And it would basically just be like another boom cannon. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video about concepts. I think we need to add this. And this is like after the troop. I think the next troop, I was debating if I should do a troop episode where I talk about what I want in the next troop. Because it's pretty much guaranteed that the next update will contain a troop. It has to. Because if another troop, it's been like a year and two months since the last troop came out. I believe, yeah, it's like, it was a scorcher, and the recruiters came out later, but they're not really true, that's more of an ability, but anyway guys, I hope you liked it, if you did, be sure to drop a like, as always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, bye.